Hey team, this is George. Can you believe that we're in week five? So we're over halfway. I'll have your feedback to you by Wednesday of this week. So everything should be up to date. Uh, any late assignments that were posted or anything else should all be complete. Uh, from my perspective, the feedback complete to you by Wednesday. So everything should be rolling along. This week is going to be a fascinating week. I'm not sure if you've ever read the story or uh, watched the story or read the story about a class divided. Very powerful about uh, how we think about people and how our perceptions affect another. Uh, what I want to show you here is invisible, whoops, visible learning. I meant to have this up already, but Dr. Hattie is an Australian researcher. Um, did a metadata research on everything going on K through 12 and quite a bit of higher ed. And here's the infographic of what he found, which kind of correlates with what we're doing today. I want to show you the, uh, the updated version. So as you're watching a class divided, you're going to see how the teacher's influence actually changes people, their thoughts or their her outward gestures to people and the way they would think about themselves. So to me, this experiment was all about efficacy and how you feel about yourself, how you feel you can do uh, in certain situations is very much affected by this. And let's look at student outcomes here. So teacher's estimate of achievement. So it has a 1.29 effect size. So that's greater than 100% effect size on a student's outcome. So how a teacher estimates that student will do has a huge income. So in other words, how the teacher feels you will do, that's the bar you're going to reach pretty much. Um, and you'll notice the correlation that with the, uh, the video of our class divided this week. So it's very interesting how that works. Self-efficacy is down here at 0.92. So how I believe that I can do or how well I can do has a 92% effect size on my outcomes, on my productivity, on what I can do within the classroom. That's a big big deal. Uh, teacher estimates of, of uh, sorry, collective teacher efficacy. So how, how well the teachers believe they can do has the biggest effect size on student outcomes. So if the teacher doesn't think that they can do a very good job, it just happens of the students as well. So now we can take all of this and we can wrap it right into business and wrap it right into management because how we feel so if we're leading a team and if i'm constantly bagging on team members and you know thinking they can't do whatever they're going to do so when i think that one of my team members can't do something or they're going to do a poor job i'm going to nitpick every little thing whereas opposed to if i think this person over here is going to do a fantastic job guess what I'm not going to nitpick those little things. Those little things are going to slide. But the person over here who I think can't do it, guess what? I'm going to nitpick those things. That's just the way we are psychologically. It's the way we're built. So this video gives us a lot of insight into that and into teaming. So a lot of um, our teaming effectiveness is how we believe as a leader we can do. So a lot of it has to do with uh, our attitude towards it. So just... Uh, Thought that was very interesting. So our video is here, class divided. We have our faith integration. The first one's due today. Uh, our discussion is due on Wednesday. And then uh, the movie assignment here for class divided. Everything should be set up correctly. Yeah, it's right there. And then we want to see how, just follow these questions here, just like you did before. And the way to get full points on this is to make your point and then support your point. Make your point, support the point with an outside source or experience. Um, our textbook is a very good uh, resource for this one. And there's plenty of outside sources available as well. So I hope this helps and have a fantastic week. I look forward to our live session tomorrow.